you guys remember where we've been the last two weeks? Set up, please. I look at you know. Do you guys remember what we taught on the last two weeks? Jesus There was. Like a week. Oh, Jesus was a man who was blind. Yeah. Jesus was a man who was blind. Thank you. Thank you. So, hey, bud. All right, go. Have a, go have a seat. I think he likes it. Go have a seat. I think he likes it. He likes the attention. All right, so, can anybody remember what happened? What happened? Uh, so, Jesus and his disciples were walking down the road. And they saw him 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 and they saw Jesus and who? His disciples. Jesus and his disciples. Eat that. What were they doing? Eat that. What were they doing? Eat that. They're walking. Eat that. Eat that. Right? And what did they see? A blind, A blind, A blind man. man. A blind man? How long had he been blind? All his life. All his life. And they asked Jesus, who sinned? Now they thought that, what did they think might have sinned? The blind side. Jesus. Oh, because oh, no, they thought that they thought who, Jesus can't no. sin. Who, who did the disciples think might have sinned? The parents, the parents are him. Okay. Who already? Go ahead, Xander. So blind men or who? No, Jesus never sins. Jesus did. Or his parents. They yes, asked who sinned? Him? Or his parents? Now, think about that. You have a, He was born blind. He was born blind. He was born blind. He was born blind. Which means if he were the one who sinned, when would he have had to sin? When he could talk and more actually think right. He would have had to sin before he was born, right? Yeah, isn't that crazy? How should a person sin before they're born? Exactly. How can a person sin before they're born? Right. Back there. Now. Okay, so that that's where their mind was. They're they're so busy pointing the finger and accusing. Who sinned? Him or his parents? And that's what Jesus said. Nobody. Nobody sinned. Now, who remembers? First of all, what did Jesus do for the blind man? He healed him. He healed him. Now, other than Favor, because I know Favor knows the answer. Maybe she doesn't, but I'm guessing that she does. How did he? How did he heal? What did he do to heal him? Kaya, what did he do to heal him? He spit in the dirt and they made mud and rubbed it on his eyes. Ew! I 
Ew! Ew! Let me let me go out and get some dirt and I'll spit it and rub it on you guys' eyes, okay? Jonathan, your eyes are healed. And all of a sudden, his eyes are healed. 
and you go running to your parents, Mom, Dad, Jonathan died, he got healed. And they say, on a Sunday, that's not supposed to be happening. He's not allowed to do that on a Sunday. And wouldn't you say, wouldn't you say, what is wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you guys? Somebody's eyes got healed, and your only concern is that he did it on a Sunday? But there's a law. There's a law. You see, what is the Sabbath? Does anybody, you know, you know what a Sabbath is? What's a Sabbath? It's a Sabbath. Actually, you do eat. You do eat. But you can't cook food. <laughs> the Sabbath got started way back at the very beginning in Genesis, the first book of the Bible. And God created the earth in how many days? No. Six days. Seventh day he rested. Did God, did God, did God get tired? That he had to rest on the seventh day? No, no, he didn't rest on the he didn't rest on the seventh day because he got tired. However, Jordan, uh, Jaden, come up here, please. Come here, please. This is your seat. This is your seat. No, this is your seat. This is Jaden's seat. This is Jaden's seat. This is Jaden's special seat. This is Jaden's special seat. Come on. I need you up here, bud. I need you up here. That's your special seat. No, you cannot. You stay where you are. All right. So, because God knew we get tired. God knew we need a day of rest. How many of you like to take a nap? I love napping. Very few. I Very few of you. I just like I love sleeping. I always hated napping. What? When I was a kid, I hated napping. When I was a, when I was a kindergarten, when I was a kindergarten, nap time was my least favorite time of the day. I hated nap time. I wish I could have nap time here in school. But preschool. Yeah, the older I got, the more I began to like nap time. She was a baby. She You just stay up in your bed. But God knows we need rest. So God said on the Sabbath day, which is the seventh day, you need to rest. Now, when Moses was the leader of Israel, God wrote the law for Moses. He said, we're going to make this a law. On the Sabbath day, you do no work. You can eat, but you fix all your food the day before, and you have leftovers. You fix all your food the day before and you have leftovers. Well, they be they began to make that such a hard law. So now they said, well, define work. So define traveling. You can't travel. Well, traveling means that you can, you can go a certain distance from your house. Well, I know what. This chair belongs to me. So if I set up this chair... The day before the Sabbath, and this is my house, and I can't go to the, I can't go any farther than the chair. So I can go as far as the chair on the Sabbath, but up, 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 up. this chair belongs to me. So because the chair belongs to me, now this is like my house, which means I can go farther. And maybe a day before they set up this chair, up, this chair belongs to me. Now I can go farther. So they made ways around the rules. God doesn't want us to do that. If you've got to make a way around the rule, maybe the rule is stupid. That's right. I didn't say a person was. I said the rule was. They got it. They got the rule so bad that they got. They were mad at Jesus because Jesus dared to heal on the Sabbath. Jesus, you're doing work. You're not allowed to do work on the Sabbath. You're not allowed to do that, Jesus. But he's blind. And now he's healed. So what? You, you did it on the Sabbath. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Go ahead and have my 
microwaves back then? Yeah. They didn't even have microwaves when I was a kid. When I was when I was Jonathan's age, microwave ovens haven't been invented yet. When I was your age, microwave ovens haven't been invented yet. Huh? No. No, we didn't have we didn't have microwave ovens. We had toaster ovens. That's what they did because we put them in the toaster oven. And it took a long time to cook. Oh, and you could burn them. Yes, sir. All right, but here's back to the lesson, though. Oh, back to the lesson, though. Back to the lesson. No more slapping yourself. All right, I'm going to say this, and I want you, everybody to listen to me. I want everybody to listen to me. I don't want to see your belly anymore. That's ugly. Listen up, guys. Okay, this this is something you may not want to hear. Besides the fact that Xander's belly is ugly. Jonathan, get your glasses and then pay attention to me because I want you to hear this. Rules are good. I agree. So school rules. Even school rules. Rules are good. God's rules are good. However, listen up. Here's the however. Here's the however. When I'm talking, you're not. Here's the however. However, God wants us to do good for each other. God wants us to love each other. And if the rule is getting in the way, then God's okay with you doing good. Even though the rule said that you can't do any work on the Sabbath, Jesus said to do good on the Sabbath is okay. God does not want us to break rules, and he certainly doesn't want us to break rules uh, for our flesh, okay? In other words, to do things that make us happy. In, in what I mean to make happy, to do, to do bad things. God doesn't want us to do bad things, breaking the rules. However, like the rule for the Sabbath. Okay. Let, me, let me tell you this. When I was a kid, we rested on Sunday. That, my dad said, that's, that is the Lord's day. You rest. And we did. Now, sometimes my dad gave us permission. I had to ask him one time for permission to go out and play football with the guys on a Sunday. He was okay with that. He wasn't crazy about it, but he was okay with it. But if I would have told my dad, hey, dad, can I go help somebody out? Jonathan. Or Jonathan. Jaden. Jaden. Sorry, Jonathan. Where's your special seat, buddy? Where's your special seat? Come, come. Come, come. Because you can't leave Jordan alone. Well, you should have been sitting there and Jordan wouldn't have hurt you. You should have been sitting there. Doesn't matter. You should have been sitting there. Oh, well. Listen. It is right. It is right to do good. It is right to do good. Now, I'm not saying, I know you guys are going to go back to your parents and say, Dave said it's okay to break the rules. No, it's not okay to break the rules. But if the rule is keeping you from doing good, do good. So what if the government says, you cannot pray? Daniel ran into that. The king passed the law saying, you can't pray. Now, wait a minute. So, there's praying to God, and then there's the rule that says you can't pray. Which am I going to... Not only did Daniel say, you know what, I'm not going to worry about the rule. He went home and he opened his window, and in front of the window he prayed. 
He got in trouble for it. He got thrown in jail. He got thrown in the lion's den. And then he survived. And then he survived. Of course. So you might, you might suffer for it, but it's always right to do good. It is always right to do good. It is always right to do good. It is always right to love. All right, now I'm going to leave it at that. Ask yourself, is the rule keeping me from doing good? Is the rule keeping me from showing love? It is better to obey God than to obey man. Now, I'm not giving you free reign to break the rules. No, I'm not. But it is better to do good. Let's bow our heads. Uh, go ahead and throw that out, but there you go. Come here, bow your heads. We're going to pray. Yay. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your goodness, Lord. We thank you because your commandment to love each other, your commandment to do good for each other, is more important than the rules that man can come up with. Lord, you don't care about our religion. You care about our love for you, and you care about our love for each other. And so, Father, I ask you that you would help us to love each other, to love you, to serve you in the best way we can. And may everything that we do bring you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.